So, oh, 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 hello. Come on. Um, <laughs> so welcome everybody. It's been a while. Um, we still haven't really had a chance to, um, go and throw things away from the, uh, wreckage that the weather has given to us. Um, so I know that homesteading has been a huge thing. Um, I also hear a lot of youth wanting to open up their own rescues and sanctuaries, which is super awesome. Um, so I do want to kind of like go over costs and stuff. I know I'm like all over the place. I'm still learning and I kind of just, yeah. Hi. What do I have? Hi. Say hi. Come on, that's my head. So, we are getting ready for winter. Um, winter. We're going to get ready for a cold night tonight. I have, like, zero focus right now with everything going on. And I'm flirt. Isn't that cute? I mean, how can you focus with all this going on? Look at that. It's just amazing. So, anyways... We're putting hay in our coops tonight. Um, these you're looking at is $13, $14 a bale here right now. And don't get your tail feathers caught. Okay. Um, so $14 a bale here. And okay, are you watching this too? Why is he going around in circles? Oh. Okay, hold on. Oh no. I think with all that ruffling, he um, bent some feathers. Please stop. Yeah, I'm talking to you. <sighs> you. Okay, so let's get these bales of hay into their places. Um, if you guys are thinking about raising seriously a sanctuary it is so freaking expensive i can't even begin to tell you how expensive it is so a think about funding and how many animals that you want to take in because they add up quickly like i think we have over 60 babies right now um hi which hi i love you too i'm very glad to have so i'm gonna get these bales of hay and i'll be right back feed Speed is another thing. Oh my stars, it goes by so fast. So we use Conway feed um, and it can only go up from there as far as price wise goes. You're looking at over $20 a bag for a 50 pound bag of feed. Um, yeah. So So my husband, I love him so much. He, I cannot thank him enough for all that he does for this place. And I feel bad because he totally trashed this place with everything. This place was so beautiful and I mean, I guess like once you start using a facility, it, it gets messed up. I'm in the process of gaining that kitten's trust right now. We still need a name for it. So anyways, with the animals that we have, the smallest amount is a half a cup with the chickens a day. So that's not bad, but the most is one and a half cups for our turkeys. Um, if I was to get emu, that was a couple pounds, and I think it was like one and a half pounds of feed a day. And then ostriches, I really wanted ostriches until I realized that they needed like three pounds of feed a day. And it's not just like, you can't just like give them grain. I mean, you can, 
but if you really want to do something correct, you need to do like. I am taking care of the animals. Thank you, Alexa. Um, <sighs> fruits and vegetables are a huge part of their diet. Protein, like raw meats and stuff, if you can afford it, that would be awesome. Um, so that's always a thing to focus on as well. Like, like your chickens and your ducks and a lot of your like pea fowl, guinea fowl, turkeys, they're actually all meat eaters. So, yeah, um, they love eating chicken, steak, anything that is meat related, they love it. Kim has lost it. Um, so yeah, the food goes by really quickly. I do have to say feeding time is like my all time favorite. Come on, dinner time. Hi. <laughs> and here they come out. Woo! Okay. So I'm gonna have to put this phone down because I am one-handed and I am not talented enough to empty out a bucket of feed all over the ground with just one hand. <gasps> now, oh, it's me a chicken. Hi, Mia. That's why I have an outdoor chicken door jacket. It was so funny today. I had forgotten that I was loving on my rooster. That guy right there, Hunter. I was loving on him and chickens in general and cleaning out coops. I had coarse mud all over my face and after an hour I had forgotten about it and then was talking totally normal, like nothing was there um, to an Amazon driver. So he was super nice about not saying anything that I had mud all over my face. Alright, pausing.